everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm taking a second look at the GFI system Synesthesia because there's a version 2 firmware that gives you 15 extra algorithms for free. So here's a quick update on what this dual DSP effect is all about and then we'll dive into some of those newer sounds. The Synesthesia's dual DSP architecture allows you to stack two independent effects and choose how they interact, whether it's separating them via stereo outputs or running them in series. You may also remember the powerful control you get over each effect, with three primary and three secondary controls by moving or pushing and twisting the knobs. With firmware version 2, the Synesthesia not only adds modulation sounds, but filtering and noise generating effects as well. The update is made via USB cable to GFI's SimLab editor, where presets can be fine-tuned and organized. Although just about every parameter is adjustable on the pedal itself, you can easily set up each preset to default to Stompbox mode, fine-tune expression mapping and MIDI configuration, and store offline presets to your computer. The new rotary simulator has been achieved by dividing the effect into two. Controls offer fine-tuning of each rotor's minimum and maximum speed, as well as intensity, acceleration time, and mix but most crucial in the rotary effect is the ramping between the fast and slow speeds. So by holding either foot switch, the synesthesia will trigger both the upper and lower rotors to change speeds at the same time. Some familiar mod effects from the original firmware like Trem, Phaser, and Flanger have been given their own arpeggiated algorithm, where stepped waveforms in various patterns give these classic effects a whole new application. To take it one step further, GFI have added the SimLab ARP Editor, which gives you greater refinement of the arpeggiator steps and patterns. Lastly, there are some serious sonic manipulators like Ring Mod and Bit Crusher, plus some very powerful filtering algorithms like Parametric EQ, which can really help carve out those classic mod effects and provide a really powerful lead boost. And getting more into the special effects side of things, the Pressed Junk algorithm adds comp, dirt, and vibrato all in one for some lo-fi sounds, while record antics and phono filtering work hand in hand to deliver vintage record player effects or even extreme filtering for intercom and clock radio sounds, a perfect choice for that song break. For a complete list of this pedal's powerful algorithms and features, just head over to gfisystem.com. And I think part of the fun with these new algorithms, besides playing them on their own, is to see how they can transform your old presets. For instance, I have a volume swell mixed with vibrato, and I'll just swap that vibrato with a ring mod and get a completely different sound. Because they've split the rotary effect into two separate algorithms, you don't always have to pair them together. Here's a great example of getting a really cool organ octave effect just by using some octave with reverb and just the lower bass rotor. You still get to take advantage of the ramping effect as well. Thank you. 
probably noticed that last preset was sort of dark and distant, and that was intentional. I wanted it to sound like a cohesive unit rather than two separate effects. So I went into the DSP routing and I made sure they were running into each other or series. So you had that dark drum going into the octave and reverb effect to really make it sound like it was a distant organ. Let's try a fresh new preset I just created using two new algorithms. On the right, I'm just using the top portion of the rotary effect, which is the horn. So that's only handling the treble frequencies. And so I've chosen a arpeggiated tremolo on the left side, and I'll be setting them up in parallel so they won't filter each other. And they are mixed, so you'll hear a bit of both in each channel. <laughs> Let's get into some of those new algorithms that are all about sonic degradation from warped vinyl sounds to bit crushing. Well, there you go, 15 new algorithms that you could mix and match with the old ones and create some really unique sounds. For more information on every feature of this dual channel pedal, check it out at gfisystem.com or find yours on Reverb by clicking the link below. Thanks for watching. Yeah, 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 yeah